Next, we're going to take a look at your eEdge website and how that coincides with this My Lead section. So we're going to head back into uh, My Marketing. I'm just going to click anywhere to take me into the portal there. So if you don't know, you actually have two websites um, provided to you by Keller Williams. I would choose just one to market. So you have your eEdge, which we're going to go over now, and you also have something called a placer. Um, I would take a look at both. I have videos on both, and um, just decide which one you like better and market that one. So um, let's go into um, account. So go to that account button here, and you're going to hit website, okay? That's going to take you to your eEdge website portal. So just right off the bat, I'm just going to go ahead and show you kind of a sample of what your eEdge will look like. If you go to office info there, you'll be able to view your website. So this is a kind of dummy website I've created. This is sort of what the eEdge looks like. It's pretty simple. It'll have your information on the top. Um, you know, you can update this banner, stuff like that, depending on how, you know, into it you want to get. It'll have your photo. You can put your... Um, designation here, phone number. Um, you can add social media. So for example, I have like the office Instagram um, linked to my fake website here. So it's great. You can link your social media. You can update all of this information. Um, you can put the communities that you serve. Um, clients can search for properties on your website. Um, if you go to the cell tab, this will be more, the cell tab will be more uh, uh, prevalent to you, obviously, since I'm not a, a licensed realtor. Um, you can do like a CMA or a, yeah, a CPA for them. If you go to co communities, this will show all of the communities that you've said that you've serviced. And then um, they can go to about as well. And that will have your experience or your biography, whatever um, you so choose to put in there. So. That's just kind of what it looks like. So if you go back to your little eEdge portal and you go to that website tab, um, there's a lot of great stuff you can do on here. Um, the, I would check out the eEdge videos on KW Connect. I'll provide a link to that in the description of this video. Um, but just to give you a brief overview, you can change your layout. I think there are three free layouts that they offer. Um, you can also change the color, make sure any changes that you make, you would hit save so that those stick. Your site images will be the logo and banner, so you can change the banner to something, a custom picture, something you took, or a picture of your listing. You can, if you have um, a really established brand, that's where you can in insert your own logo. Um, on pages, you can, this is where you go in and you would edit each page. So for example, if you wanted to change what it says on home, you would hit home and you can edit the content that appears here. Um, uh, the pro features are of course pay features. So these are the only pages that you are um, given for free. But if you do so choose to do the EH Pro, you can add your own pages, get really into it. Blog post is a pro feature. Um, that'll show a footer would just show up at the bottom of every page. Um, it's completely optional to have that. If you head down to community serve, this is where you can add zip codes of communities that you um, currently sell in or neighborhoods you want to get in. Partners is a pro feature. That would be if you know one of the vendors wanted to be featured on your website. Um, recommendations doesn't have any options there. Um, if you use um, the Google analysis um, tracking, you can uh, put your tracking ID here and get Google analysis on, you know, clicks onto your site, how much time people spend on your site, just get really detailed. I wouldn't worry about any of that if you're just getting started. Um, under listing search, you can select what type of properties and listings um, and features that people can um, search for that will show up more frequently on your website. So for example, if you specialize in farms and ranch, you would probably want to have that clicked so that people know that you can help them find a farm or ranch. Widgets is a pro feature, so we're going to go on down to my account. This is where you would edit the information that you want viewed. So if your designation is Realtor, you would put that there, of course. If you have a phone number update, you would put that there. 
Um, this is where you would add your social media URLs and you can change um, your photos, headshots as well, um, all from this kind of settings tab. I know this is a brief overview, but that's kind of the point. So if you keep going down, you can go to office info. That's obviously my home address. Please don't stalk me. Um, if you go down to activity alerts, this is really important. So you want to have your activity alerts turned on, um, both text and email. You can do that by going to edit here. The reason you want that is because you never want to miss a lead. They say that um, like after four hours of someone inquiring, if you don't um, catch up with them, then like your chances of maintaining that lead go from like 70% to 40%. So that's a huge drop. So um, if you turn on this text and email, that means when someone inquires on your website, you will get a notification immediately and you'll be able to follow up with them. Also, when they inquire on your website, um, they'll get an, an automatic email from you. So it's really awesome. Um, so you wanna make sure to have those things turned on. Also, um, under account, you want to have your MLS set up. So make sure to go in here and add um, your FMLS and Georgia MLS feed if it's not already on there. Um, that way, the listings that appear on your website will be pulling in from those two sources. And then those are pretty much the most important things on here. You can change your email signature. Um, that's if you are doing any messaging from eEdge. eEdge does kind of have what I would consider like a, a, a dummy email basically so you can send messages to and from um, this. They should be going to your KW email as well. So this is a fake message that I sent just to show what that would look like. So I also want to show you what it looks like when someone inquires on your website and they become a lead. So we're going to go back to my fake website. We're going to pretend I'm a client and we're going to go to contact me and um, the person would put in their name. So this person's name is going to be fakey client. Why not? I'm putting in my own email. Being a subject. Whatever they might put. And they might put their number. And once they hit send now, then that will um, send you a text message um, or a, um, an email, whatever you have turned on, that you have received a new contact. Um, so then when that person has submitted that form, their contact will come in up here and it will have their information. You can also view this. Um, let's see. You can also view this by clicking on my leads on that home control panel page and then any new leads will pop up at the very top so they'll have all their information you can contact them directly from the panel it's pretty convenient so that is your tour of a brief tour of your eEdge website and some of the things that it can do